Hey beauties, it's me, Lisa. So, do you remember when I posted my first printed tutorial? It involves paint and if you missed it, make sure to check out my channel for that idea. This is a quickie, so you're going to grab some t-shirts that are made of cotton or polyester blend fabrics and recycle your old denim like a pair of shorts since it's getting warmer out and if you have loads of tea hanging around, I get to show you how to add a print for your office and home. Oh, are you digging this top? We're going to start off with making this floral inspired wild fox sweater. You can also use a basic tee. Make sure to choose a light fabric and grab an image that you really want to print out. All the links for the image are in my info box and I picked out a light fabric transfer paper. If you decide to go dark with your fabric, choose your dark fabric transfer paper. So you're going to read your directions first because you're totally going to make a mistake like I did and waste $1.50 each on transfer paper. So test your image on computer paper first to make sure it's printed out correctly. And once you got your image, look how pretty that is, you're going to need scissors and cut the outlining of your image. Place your clothing that you're going to recycle onto a smooth hard surface like a table or even your floor. I'm using a cutting board and I'm covering with a cotton pillowcase so that it doesn't transfer onto my cutting board or on the back of my light sweater. Uh, so you're going to lay your images down face down. Make sure your iron doesn't have any water in it because we don't want any steam. So set it on to the highest cotton setting and let it preheat for 5 minutes before you iron your um, images onto your fabric. Apply pressure and iron from left to right for 45 seconds. Let it cool down before you peel off. And once you can peel it off, it should easily come off. If it don't, then that means your image hasn't sticked to the fabric so you need to iron it back on for another 45 seconds. For the floral layout, I just pretty much eyeballed it and spaced out my florals so it can be like evenly distributed and now you can distress it with tweezers. If you're not into the look, you can just skip this step. Just pierce it through the sweater and you're going to pull it apart so you can get this huge hole as desired and yeah, you can ask your cat or your dog, I'm just kidding, to help you scratch your sweater up. So once you get your hole large enough, you're going to use the fingernail or tweezer to scratch it back towards the hole and you'll get this like line shredded look from the front and back and that's how it's going to look and it's pretty cool but you definitely don't have to do this if you're not really into that old scratched up look. For your denim, you can cover it all up with the print image or just the pockets. I decided to go with the pockets to make it wearable. You're going to iron the center first for like first minute just to make it stick and leave the edges alone. In order to get the edges look all crisp with the print, you're going to leave some on the side because we need to trim off the extra paper that's left over and once you get that perfect pocket look you're going to iron the edges on for another two minutes and voila let it cool down and peel off your print. I think the light wash and denim it makes the print look so vintage and the feel of the image gives a wax coated look. So you've seen Rihanna and so many fashion bloggers wear the Celine tee. You can do Chanel, YSL, make sure your font's on backwards. I have the link below. If you don't know how to do it on Microsoft, just like the first tutorial, now you have yourself a inexpensive Celine inspired tee. If you're looking to do your own pillows or a stuffed toy or animal, grab an LT and make sure there's two layers on top of each other. For the t-shirt, just use a regular large tee, steal one from your dad's or something, and iron on the image that you like. I chose an owl, but you can do any image. And you're going to cut about one to two inches around the image. To speed this process up, meet my nifty glue gun. I'm using fabric glue sticks but you can use regular glue sticks if you want. So heat it up and you're going to glue the edges of the um, owl that we cut out. I'm gluing one side of my owl to the other T layer and it should be back to back. Make sure the image is inside the layers. Now glue the rest and leave an opening. I left an opening so I can pull my pillowcase inside out, having the image facing me. 
And having the image facing me means that we're doing it the right way and this will help us um, make it a lot easier to stuff our pillows. Well, I'm going to call this my little pet animal owl. Once you're done stuffing your pillows, you're going to add glue to the bottom of the opening and fold it together. Now add glue on top of that fold again because we want to make a seam like we actually sewed but don't tell anyone, we're just gonna fake it. So fold over the other layer and glue it together. Make sure you don't like touch the hot glue because it's pretty hot. So now you have this like seamless look and look, stuff animal. With the extra t-shirt fabric, I decided to update my office with a new mouse pad and oh, I'm loving my owl theme right now. You're going to iron your image on, flip it over, add some glue. I'm using a spray adhesive, this crystal clear tacky spray, but you can use like regular craft glue. It doesn't have to be fancy. And yeah, shame on my little kitty. She has cat hair all over my t-shirt, but she's so cute. Alright, so you're going to add a foam sheet on top of the glue and it should adhere and once it's glued on, you can cut around the image. Alright, so I have one more idea. If you have a boring notebook, try adding these transfer fabrics onto your notebook. Choose a paperback or moleskin. Now you can have your own personalized notebook, so you're going to use a cotton ball, add a little water to dampen it up, make sure to lightly moist your image on and add some more on top and use the iron, it's going to sizzle because water reacts with heat and steam up and you're going to just make sure it sticks onto the notebook before iron on to your pillowcase because you don't want to burn that paper off. Now it's on there forever, isn't it so cute? probably wondering how do I take care of these fabrics with all this image that we just did. Turn your garment inside out before washing. Make sure it's in cold water, gentle wash. And yeah, it's pretty easy to maintain. And I hope you guys love this tutorial. I'll see you guys soon and I take requests so comment below.